name is David Putnam with Sewer Century. We've been in the sewer industry for 40 years. I'm here today to demonstrate to you how much water is getting into Mano Culver's. It's been a problem for a long time. Inflow into Mano Culver's, it's a lot more than we imagine, and venting of Mano Culver's. These are the two things we're going to talk about today and demonstrate just how much. Both these Manos are the same, they're brand new. One of them's equipped with a Sewer Century kit. It's a rubber gasket glued into the ring with that raised hole. The raised hole doesn't let the water get into the hole. It goes around the hole, not in it. So this mano is venting, this mano is venting also, but we're gonna show you how much water is getting into this mano because we have the same mano in our vat. And we're gonna show you just how much water is getting into it. During rainstorms, this is gonna be a sheet of water just like you have in your streets. Start. You got the bucket under it? Starting now. Go. One minute. It's just a sheet of water. Just like you have in the streets. Eight gallons a minute. Okay? And that's one mano. No pickles. We're gonna show you what pickles get here in a minute. Okay, this is a one inch hole, the water goes around it, sewer centric. This is a one inch hole in the lid, like normal vent holes. Okay, we're gonna show you what a sheet of water takes on in one minute with a one inch pickup. right at two gallons of water. Okay, here we have six inches of water over this man on cover. As you can see, there's another drip still up under it. It's just dripping. We won't measure that. But what we want to show you is a one inch hole. What it takes on, what kind of water it takes on a one inch hole. This is six inches deep, okay? Some of these manos are getting a foot, foot and a half, even more. So we're gonna show you. You got the stopwatch? Get ready, go. Ten seconds, ten seconds. I'm just gonna plug the hole. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright. Let's pull it out, see what we got. Wow. Can you see that? That is right at ten gallons a minute. Now think about that. Ten gallons a minute through every hole. If you have four holes in it. 10 gallons a minute, that would be 40 gallons a minute, okay? You remember the pump station we showed you before, 300 gallons a minute. How many holes would it take to go underwater? Six inches to overcome those 300 gallons a minute pump station, okay? How many? When you don't clean your mano covers, that little bit of gravel and sand that gets between the mano ring and cover because of rain, because of traffic and whatnot, this is what it looks like that's out in the streets. That's, that it get right in here. It falls down on that rubber. So let's say we didn't clean it. Let's just sprinkle a little bit of this on here. Okay, just a little. Okay, go. Go one minute. How many 
gallons is that? You're looking at 11 and a half gallons in one minute. 11 and a half gallons in a minute. When a while ago it was just dripping. 